Guys, we have a ton of new restaurants, fun activities, and cool stuff coming to Metro Detroit. Stay on top of all of it here on this channel. If you're new here, I'm Mike Perna, local real estate agent for just over 20 years, and I make videos on communities we serve, communities we love, fun stuff to do every month, real estate and finance news, and of course, videos like this with new restaurants. Watch to the end because that last one may just be my new favorite restaurant of all time. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, and here we go. Starting with a fast, casual place, Sweet Green in Birmingham opened August 9th on the west side of Old Woodward, just north of Maple, which is 15 Mile Road, with two more locations planned for Ann Arbor and Troy before the end of the year. Sweet Green was started by three college kids in 2007, looking for a better answer to fast food than Taco Bell, which is not an actual bad answer for fast food because I love Taco Bell. They serve fresh, plant forward salads in warm bowls and sides. The kale Caesar salad, the peachy green goddess salad, and the fish taco bowl are my favorites, but also check out the chicken pesto parm bowl, the pesto summer veggies, and the rosemary ficata, which are among some of the items that are currently on the menu, but they do change those out seasonally. Guests can also build their own salads and bowls too, and additionally, the eatery will highlight local ingredients, which I love, including goat cheese from Zingerman's Creamery, sweet potatoes from Visser Farms, and they sell drinks like iced green tea, kombucha, and sparkling water. I personally don't like kombucha, but you do you. The 3,090 square foot space will include seats for up to 34 indoor diners and 14 on a seasonal outdoor patio. It's also going to feature artwork by Detroit-based artist Ellen Rutt in its interior. Next up, Eastern Market Brewing Company is opening a high-tech tap room right here in Royal Oak. Now, it sounds a little odd, like it should have video games, and it doesn't, which kind of sucks. It probably should. We'll put that suggestion out there. But it's Michigan's first fully self-serve tap room. It's a new concept for our area. Lincoln Tap will have 30 taps with craft beer brewed by Eastern Market Brewing Company, the Ferndale Project Wines, and of course, after my own heart, they're going to have a fantastic cold brew coffee on tap. iPort is the tech used, and when you get there, you'll have an RFID wristband to track what you're grabbing. Owner Dwayne was initially not keen on the idea of the tech, but then in Florida, after seeing it in action at a self-pour tap room, they were inspired to spearhead the tech here in Michigan. One part of the experience I can't appreciate is it opens up the staff to have more time to create a real experience for the consumer and really interact with people instead of just kind of running around and trying to make sure to get the drinks everybody's looking for. The self-serve is an interesting model recently adopted by a sushi place in Novi we covered in our Novi Best of Asian Restaurants video here. And one thing I appreciate about this entrepreneurial spirit of Eastern Market Brewing Company, other than they're a locally owned business, and I 100% of the time try to support local owned rather than a chain, is their entrepreneurial spirit. They've created a great brand and model, and yet over the last five years, they've experimented with direct-to-consumer delivery, coffee roasting, which they're actually pretty good at, donuts, which they were not very good at, and Detroit-style pizza, which they left to others to do it a little bit better. This expansion is also going to allow them to triple their brewing ability, and a soft opening will be happening now in October, and then it will open fully roughly the time that this video posts. Let's keep on going, but before we do, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and give the video a like so that more people can see this video. And also, if you're looking for a home or you need to get an equity assessment on your current home, call us anytime at 248-221-2777 or shoot us an email at mikeperna at pernateam.com. Five Iron Golf is opening two locations, one on October 21st in 2022 in Shelby Township and one in downtown Detroit in the upcoming Cambria Hotel, which I'm super excited about, by the way. The Shelby Township location will be at 50 0773 Corporate Drive, Shelby Township, right off of 23 in Van Dyke. The facility is going to be 4,900 square feet and have six Trekman golf simulators as well as a full bar called the 19th Hole. I see what they did there with local craft brews on tap. They're going to have several large TVs and Detroit Taco providing the food, which I love Detroit Taco. We did an entire video just about that place. The brand's custom built golf simulators will feature a multi angle cameras capturing every angle of the golf swing, the Trackman Golf technology. Meanwhile, it's going to simulate 93 historic courses such as Pebble Beach, Beach, and St. Andrews. Locally, it's going to have programmed in Arthur Hills at the Highlands, which is over in Boyne, Bay Harbor's Preserve Links and Quarry Preserve. Orchard Lake Country Club, the Wabi Country Club in Bloomfield, and a few more. There are both lessons with golf pros and leagues you can join year round, and it's also a rentable event space both for a great company outing or for just like birthday parties and frankly, a nice adult birthday party considering the bar. I think you could put that to good use. Symposia is now open in the Athenium Hotel in Greektown. I've never actually been to that hotel, and now I've got a great reason to go. The Papa's family, who has a 40 year plus track record of running some of Greektown's best restaurants, including Pegasus, have brought in Chef 
Elliot Patty, who's worked in numerous Five Diamond and Michelin ranked and starred restaurants worldwide to create an upscale, total Mediterranean restaurant. They're blending dishes from Greece, Italy, and Spain with signature dishes like roasted beets with whipped feta, pickled strawberry, and green harassa. Spanish octopus with romesco is served with yucca potatoes and chorizo iberico. There's an Australian lamb chop and an Amish hat bird served with a harissa and cream crochet. And their featured dessert is an olive oil cake served with a pistachio, orange, and honey whipped Greek yogurt. It's a small restaurant, only seating 65, and designed by Olin Interiors who have done interiors for the Three Legged Goat, The Last Bean in Birmingham, Baraki in Detroit, The Golden Fleece redesigned, and more across the US and world. The restaurant will be overseen by the Papas family, which also owns and operates the Athenium Suite Hotel and Conference Center, a bar, Pegasus Taverna, Mosaic, and Santorini, all located in Greek Town. I'm pretty excited for this one, and it says here they take walk ins, but I would highly advise getting a reservation. I would not count on getting a table within any hour of walking in. The Upright just opened as an underground bar in the Milwaukee Junction neighborhood below the and kind of still new Oak and Reel. To know the Upright is to know the Oak and Reel, so we're going to start there. Garden City born and raised chef Jared and his wife Abby opened this Italian inspired restaurant, blending what he learned and experienced in French Culinary Institute as a graduate and what he learned cooking with his grandmother as a kid in Garden City. After graduation, Jared went on to work in a Michelin star restaurant in New York called Maria and spent time working getting his chops in Hong Kong and Istanbul as well. He brought all of that experience back home to Detroit and opened Oak and Reel. Now this segment isn't about that, but I thought that that backstory was a little relevant and honestly, who doesn't like a great backstory? If you go, when you go, get the Pancheri, but for real, they have an amazing Branzino on the menu. That is my go-to when I go there. And it's also one of the three best souls in all of Metro Detroit. And pretty serious when it comes to my Italian, my grandmother would have it no other way. And try the fig tart for dessert. So the Upright has a totally swank 20s-ish vibe, kind of an extension of a small Cliff Bells or a Willis Show bar with more of an intimate feel. The cocktail menu was created by bar manager Jacob Feltler, pays homage to classic drinks from decades ago, and also offers a hand crafted originals. There's a beach derby featuring Elijah Craig bourbon, cinnamon or ghee, honey, grapefruit juice, and lemon juice. The Upright's food menu includes Italian snacks and small plates like bolognese arancini, crispy pasta bites with parmesan and pepper. And here it is, the crown jewel of this video, long awaited, like I've been waiting for it before I knew it was a thing or before I even knew I wanted this restaurant, before the owners even thought to make it, Zana. Opened October 25th by the Tolua Group, the people that brought us Tolua in downtown Birmingham on South Bates is bringing a third restaurant to bear. If you go to Tolua and you're like me, sit at the bar, definitely say hi to Andrew. He's as much a part of the experience as the atmosphere and the food. If you're in Detroit, Besa, the second restaurant in the family of companies, has a great vibe, especially when it's cold outside. And check out the video on Detroit tree lighting. Grab a reservation now if you can. I know it's a couple weeks away, but definitely worth it. Anyway, Zana. It's going into the former Vinoteca space on Old Woodward, south of Maple. And before Vinoteca, it was the bird and the bread. Formerly, it was a split space, restaurant in the front, and meeting slash banquet area in the back. The owner of Tolua, Mario, intends to keep it that way and the concept's gonna be a more of a modern American restaurant with a European flair. No idea what that means. Let's look at their menu. They're bringing their signature oysters, of course, which is awesome. They've got a Wagyu meat malt I'm excited to try with polenta, raisins, pine nuts, and tomato, and also torn basil. Also on the menu, they've got a Wagyu smash burger with cheese that's brought in from up north in Leelanau County, and a really nice looking burrata, and of course, two steaks, a Creekstone filet and a ribeye. Mario is going out of his way, which I appreciate, to source as much food as possible from local farmers and local growers. And I've said a ton of times, I appreciate the trouble some of our local restauranteurs go through to support our local Michigan families and businesses. As a local business owner myself, I highly appreciate the loyalty to the economy. The space formerly known as The Bird and the Bread has been transformed by interior designer Sabrina Buchanan of Base Designs, Ian Hartwell of Oliver Max Inc., and architect John Gardner of Gardner & Associates. Buchanan collaborated with her team to redesign the 10,000 square foot space to include barrel vaulted ceilings, a private dining room, and the relocation of the bar and several of the inside dining sections. Zana is definitely going to be my go-to new place in Birmingham. Thank you again for riding along with us through all the new bars and restaurants and things to do in Metro Detroit. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Hit the like button so that more people can see this video. My name is Mike Perna, 20 plus year real estate veteran, and we would be honored to get the call to help you and your family find your next home or to get an equity assessment on your current home. You can reach us anytime at 248-221-2777 or at MikePerna at theperna team.com. Make it a great day.